Can I shoot this sideways? This is Tech Nine? Yeah. Tech Nine. Okay. Columbine. Yeah, that's yeah. why I wanted that one. Thank you. Yeah, first thing he says, like, I want to shoot the Columbine. Like, I did not say that. Room number one. People can come in and buy a gun from you? No. So this is, this is closed to the public. We'll occasionally do a run of like a run of AKs that we'll sell, but like we ship those to FFL dealers. This is all just private, except for when we have like YouTubers or friends or anything coming to town. Or cartel members. Or cartel yeah. members or shh. So a lot of the stuff we actually built. You've been building guns for quite some time? Maybe 10, 12 years. Okay. Are you just passionate about You want to see how they worked? I'm a nerd, man. I like the engineering shit behind it. It's my autism. I get to choose the special interest. Some people like Funko Pops. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't really talk to those people too much, but no. you know. I've got a flamethrower in the other room if you want to use that. You do? Board. That sounds perfect. <laughs> I saw you did a video about the history of the AK. I was totally under the impression that it was literally like a ripped STG 44, but no, no. Kind of well, so we actually have an STG over here. This is the original, you know, the the grandfather of all modern assault rifles. Is this the from STG the war? 44. Uh, yeah, this one's an original parts kit. There you go. I hear a lot of guys say things to the effect of like, there's no such thing as an assault rifle. It doesn't mean anything. Is there an assault that's rifle? That's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong? Yeah. So, well, like if they say assault weapon, that's technically not a real term. Yeah, so assault rifle actually does have a real definition. Assault rifle is any select fire intermediate cartridge rifle. So like this, this would be an assault rifle. What's your opinion of this gun personally? Do you like it? Is it by modern standards, would I use it on the battlefield? No, not really, but like for 1944, this thing changed a lot. Things aren't working out too much. Not really. But they came back, now they have BMW or whatever. Yeah, exactly. We still have Hugo Boss. We do have yeah. Hugo Boss. Yeah, they did have some pretty cool uniforms all set. They had good swag. Yes, they Their did. Their swag was turned up. Is that a silencer on that, I guess? That is a silencer, yes. The other one is a White Claw launcher. White Claw time, you ADD fucks. Are these actually like relatively quiet when you have the silencer on? No. Even though you've got a silencer on it, right? Even if it's a good one, yeah. if you're not shooting sub Sonic ammo, it's still loud as f What you see in Hollywood for suppressors is not as quiet as suppressed it's actually. If you had to estimate, I guess, without getting too into finances, do you have any idea how much you've spent on firearms? Total between here, my house, like just all the all the guns in the collection, maybe like a mil and a half. This is a lot of more of our like older stuff, other things. Okay, some goodies in there, cheese. Some goodies. Spaz 12. Yeah. The oldest gun in the shop. I think this one's from like 1847. It's a Colt. Is it actually from 1847, this yeah, one? this is an original. What caliber does this shoot? 36, I believe. What is the larger revolver down there? This would be a Colt. I believe it's an 1851, uh, 44 black powder. So, oh. cap and ball. So I guess I assume in a fight, you're not gonna take a, uh, a revolver. Mm, definitely not a revolver and definitely not a cap and ball revolver. Although, I mean, that'll still that'll still do it. What does that mean, cap and ball? Cap and ball means that you'd have to manually reload by pouring powder down each of these, cramming a ball down into the cylinder. So in a tricky situation, it's gonna be a little bit time consuming maybe. Yeah, you'd wanna have this already loaded. What is this monstrosity? That's a looty. <laughs> a looty? Yeah. What that, is a looty? It's, it's hella gun. based is what it is. It's hella <laughs> based. <laughs> So in the UK, after they did their firearms ban, uh, this one, like, I, I, was he a photographer or like a gardener? I can't remember. Some kind of mechanic or something like that, yeah. He basically just went to prove that like, hey, you know, I can go to a hardware store and build a submachine out of literally zero parts. And he did, and he wrote a book about it, and he went to jail. This is one that we made off of the blueprints of his book. He was trying to prove the laws are dumb because you can just circumvent them, and like with tools. Well, he so certainly then, did circumvent it. It looks like a It is a and Brandon being extra petty is like, yep, and I... I'm gonna do that too. What's yes, really funny about it too is that <laughs> it's serialized because he went through legal channels to do it. The AK yep. guy ink. It's an illegal homemade machine that he made legally through official channels. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's a World War One one for sure. Yeah. The whole the Han Solo. So are you a big Star Wars head? I didn't talk to women much in uh, when I was younger. So okay. yeah, I love. Star I still Wars. don't. Calico the from Spaceballs. It is this a real Helical Magazine 22. Did you buy this? Yes. From this Spaceballs? But no, not from Spaceballs. But. It is the that they use for, okay. you know, as a prop, the, the not stormtroopers. This is the one that was used to uh, attempt to assassinate Ronald Reagan. This is the one that uh, John Hinckley used to shoot Ronald Reagan uh, to try to get the attention of Jodie Foster. Well, you say it can be deadly, but in that case, it didn't work out. No. He no. didn't get the girl. He didn't. No. No. Maybe if he'd gotten him, he would've gotten the girl. We don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? Jodie Foster is like a six, so like, I don't know. James Bond, PPK. Da 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 da. Pointed at you and have the we're not gonna do that though. <laughs> Thompson's are very iconic and you'll learn to dislike it. Why is that? It's just the ergonomics are odd. 
It's just uncomfy. Yeah, that is kind of unwieldy. I feel like Tom Hanks right now. What the f is that? It's an AK-50. I don't know, Brandon. What the f is an AK-50? Uh, that is an AK-50. <laughs> the the only complete functional one. We had two different prototypes before this that were just like, all right, close, warmer, and this one is just hot. There's no other AK-50. No, there are literally zero on the planet except that one. What about it is an AK-47? So the entire operating system, like the 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 bolt, the the bolt carrier group. Uh, I mean, shit, it even takes standard unmodified AK fire control group, pistol grip. Tom told me that on his way to the top, he's been trying to take out fellow YouTubers. So obviously I'm a huge progressive, uh, hate the Second Amendment, big anti-gun guy. He brought me out here to do a covert recording with my fellow reporter for the New York Times about Donut Operator and his band of miscreants. What is this? That's a, it's called a, a rocket launcher, you fucking Okay. <laughs> but which rocket launcher? Got a lot of Nazi g here as well. I know you're into that stuff. I want to see Destiny shoot like the Barrett. Well, I'm gonna make sure you hold it with one hand. And then I'll make you hold my d with both hands later, okay? Oh. Dude, the glazing allegations are crazy. Oh, Every man. single time I tweet about he's like, glazing Destiny again. Tom and I thought of a solution to the glazing though. He's just gonna swallow next time instead of having oh, all over his yeah. head. What the f is this? Yeah, well, I just turned around and yeah. found this thing. This is my Gatling g it's literally called the Gatling? Yeah. Is this an original Gatling? No, so this one's not original, but this was actually used in the TV show. It was made for the TV show, Hell on Wheels. Oh, So this okay. is one of, I think, eight Gatling that was made for that. You just do that and it shoots? Yep. How many rounds does this fit? I think this is the extended one holds 40, which okay. back in 1865 was a big deal. Basically, they're all on a track, picking up and ejecting rounds. Did these see a lot of combat? Not necessarily. There was a very brief window, like toward the very tail end of the Civil War, where these were uh, a thing that they quickly got replaced in 1883 mm -hmm. by the Maxim. Gotcha. Oh, Handheld how could I miss the flamethrower? Why would the Elon flamethrower be like a fake one? Is it just not capable? It was kind of a joke. They literally marketed it as not a flamethrower because it's, okay. like it's a barbecue lighter. I've used oh, one, it oh, fires okay. like four feet. And Seriously. how big does your backpack mount one fire? About 120. Yep. Cool little science lesson, kids. Uh, gasoline does not actually burn. The vapor of the gasoline is what burns. So uh, if you momentarily forget that, it looks really f***ing lame on YouTube. Believe it or not, that's not regulated at all. At all? Unless you're in California, I think, but flamethrowers are just a thing you can buy. <laughs> are these all you f***ing made? Yeah, so these are these are that are in progress, works in progress. You know, hundreds and hundreds of AKs worth of parts. Your dust covers, your lower hand guards. A white claw box full of cleaning kits. These ran through. They're busted. They're bloated. They're they're worthless. They're unmarriable. Are you guys back here like pretty much, you know, five days a week? You got someone in here making something? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. For your time for your channel, how is that divided? Is it mostly you filming and editing, getting things done with that, or is it like a lot of pre-production planning before you get to filming? It's a little bit of both. Juggling all the different projects we've got going on and what's going to be interesting to the audience. Has that been tough with like the political campaign, just getting that done? I've not been good at juggling both. Yeah. But yeah, the campaign takes up a lot of time. I'm lucky enough to have a good team. This can run somewhat independent. Get off your f***ing phone. We're in real life right now. What do you want? Yeah. One day you're going to wake up with my d*** lying across your face. You're going to be very upset. Here's your Mosin, sir. Thank you. Dude, I think Hassan would be proud of you. Using a Soviet make All right, so this is one of the that I requested specifically because it was used in the Columbine sh with Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. I can't remember exactly how they got this but I think they had it in a different configuration. Most, let's say, culturally impactful school probably. We're gonna be shooting it today. I do not endorse any shootings of any kind. It's very bad, very wrong. It should be good. Kind of weird to have Destiny and Brandon Buckingham and Wendigoon and Brandon Herrera and Donut Operator in the same video, but that's what we're all about here at Tom IRL, bringing people together and then breaking them apart. This is Demolition Ranch, Matt Carricker's property. It's an abandoned resort, actually. It was abandoned for 20 years. He bought the property. He's trying to turn it back into a resort, and he built this huge shooting range and this huge berm out here for all his friends to come out to, like you guys. Just have a good time. I heard something about a, a zonkey being here. There's zonkeys? There might be a zonkey here. I don't know. What the f*** is a zonkey? It's a zebra donkey? Yeah, those can actually f***ing make a zebra donkey. This is a thing people just breed out here? I don't think they breed them on purpose. I think like some people buy exotics and the donkeys f the zebras, but then the zonkeys can't have babies. So it's a- They can't. Yeah. yeah. They're if just, a zonkey f a zonkey, it cancels out. Yeah, it cancels out. Or a zonkey f a donkey. Will it get like a, like let, like water it down? So it's like a light skin zonkey? We could try it. <laughs> what kind of firearms do we have here? I'm, I'm not super hip to all these. I recognize the MG42. That oh yeah, that's my suppressed shock. You ever seen No Country for Old Men? Yeah. It does not sound like that. It's just less loud than a shotgun. Okay. Be. This big one with the mag behind the trigger. It's a what, real what is this? I don't know the nomenclature for it, but it's basically like what uh, one of twelve. When you say one of twelve, what do you mean? Either ten or twenty of these ever existed. Do you know how much they spent on this? Um, probably too much. We've got a whole other table over here. I recognize we talked about this one. This is the P90. What is special about this gun? What makes it so awesome? I mean, it's a weird magazine, so it goes like that. 
and then the bullets come in sideways and then they flip at the last second, but it's full auto, so we can just like go to town with that one. You know how expensive this ammo is? $2 a round right now. Wow. You wanna shoot this cannon? All right, be careful. All right, I got you, I got you. It's ready? Yep. <laughs> Why is it so fucking quiet? Sounds like my dick. I know that was horrible, you okay? PTSD? Okay. 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Can that even <laughs> anyone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely it can. Hey, bro. Trying to get turned up. Me and my homie Glock Glock 40. Yeah. Glock Spaz 9000 out here. OG Bang Bang. Don't let me catch you in an SA, bro. I'm an SAU. SA. Cover my hood, bro. Me and my homies are mentally ill. Me and my homies are straight. Huh? Me and my homies live in a padded cell. So we were telling him, if you're a lefty, you definitely don't want to fire this left handed because, uh, so this charging handle comes back very quickly when it's fired uh, and it will knock your fucking teeth out. Barrett decided when they built this prototype, if you're left-handed, no, you're fucking not. So if you're wrong-handed, you're fucking. Thankfully, we're all a little so. Okay. It's kind of weird to see a father and son so romantically involved on range day. Not in, uh, not in the South. It's normal. <laughs> a lot of guys down here with sister wives, I hear. <laughs> you made me wanna marry my sister and reproduce. <laughs> oh. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm phoning them great, bro. I don't give a fuck. Don't say I'm phoning them great. This is my brother. I am a brother. Started from the bottom, now we here. Now we here. Respect. On Black History <laughs> Month, nonetheless. Can I shoot well. this one? Yeah, of course, dude. That's what we're gonna do. Rack around. You're in semi right now. We'll do like one or two rounds like this. Going hot. Nice. You ready for a bottom? Yeah. And now this is gonna recoil a lot more. And we're clear. Definitely the full auto is like a lot harder to control. Yeah, that's uh, full auto is definitely something that is, you can learn how to control it. Like here, I'll, I'll show you. What the f I think you got him. Yeah, I think he's, he's pretty well. He's, he's gonna have a tummy ache. He's gonna have a big tummy big ache tummy tomorrow. Ache. He needs some yeah. Pepto for real. Do you enjoy shooting something? Yeah. Is that the first time you've touched something that gets off faster than you do? I would definitely say so. Yeah. Okay, are you mewing? Uh, I don't know what that means. Something with your jaw. Well, I just noticed your jaw line has gotten weaker instead of stronger with time. Oh. My relationship with your mom's gotten stronger though. <laughs> she has. We have gay sex. That's really hot. Yeah, just... Are you a uh, bottom or a top? With her, anything she wants. Her will is my command. Mashallah, destiny, mashallah. There we go. Someone knows how machine works. <laughs> that is yeah, sick. Yeah. It's so quiet. Imagine if it wasn't hitting the metal, you wouldn't even hear it. What the heck? That's cheating, isn't it? What the heck, dude? That is absurd. You do competitions with this? It's like competition grade. That's my bedside, actually. <laughs> dude, that thing's hot. I was about to shoot the Galil. Shout out, Ela. Free pack a punch. This should be pretty easy to control. I say that. I've never. Seen it. Went back toward the uh, toward the front. That was good. I think it's empty. See, this is the hummus as opposed to the Hamas. Range day so far, what are you guys thinking? 10 out of 10, couldn't be any cooler, to be honest. I enjoyed it, yes, it was very good. I don't know what to do with my hands, but 10 out of 10. Well, obviously, your first range day, how'd you feel? I just work here. Really interesting that they're able to get these hands on these guys. You know, if you're in the United States, you may have the impression that it's more difficult to uh, get your hands on some of these weapons, but uh, apparently if you follow the proper paperwork, do the proper procedures, it's not the most difficult thing in the world if you're passionate about firearms. It's, uh, you know, not too tough. I'm the least good person on this range right now. See some strange exotic animals? Like your mom? Oh! Just for see that, dude. You my blood. I don't know what the reference is. Oh, it's, just, it's just, hey, it's, it's no f***ing reference. It's my life, bro. Oh, okay. Has Tom ever been on camera with another black person before, like in real life? What's your name? Ready for this June liftoff, dude? It's gonna be wild. So this is a Springfield Hellion. Basically, there were these uh, Turkish fire, I believe it was Turkey, some European country, um, that had a series of bullpup firearms used in their military for years. But importing stuff into the United States is really weird. There's a lot of restrictions you gotta jump through. So Springfield modified the platform and released it as a new the Hellion. Uh, so this is like cool for nerds because it's like a gun they've seen, you know, in pictures of like uh, foreign militaries and stuff, but never actually got a handle. Kind of made American for uh, civilian use. Uh, I haven't shot one before, but it's 5.56. I normally don't like bull pups. I understand that they're utilitarian because you use more of the space. There's not a lot of dead space in the stock that doesn't do a lot. So I'm interested to see how it does. The Ottoman Empire is back in a big way. Pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
very nice. How'd you like it? It was cool, yeah. I mean, shooting is a little boring, but it's definitely like an accurate utilitarian gun. Yeah, well, that, you're combat. spoiled because you just shot a bunch of machine guns. Yeah, <laughs> this is cool, though. All right, so we're calling cold range. We're going to set up a shooting line real quick so no one goes in front of anyone and, you know, we shoot each other. What's the deal with your What's so special about it? Oh, it's just my personal build. It's just your basic AR platform. Got the EOTech with the magnifier on it. It's fun. A little donut sling okay, going on. Very cute. But when we go hot range again, I would love for you to shoot my Completely clear. Is that clear? Right here? No bullets? Yes. All right, no bullets. All right. Point it out there to the red dot. Oh, wow, yeah. So if you flip that over, magnifies Bigger. it three times. If you don't need that far, just flip it back over. Normally, you want to hold a like that, not by the handle, because there's going to be things on top you can operate. Uh -huh. What is the point of the hand just so you're holding it like this? I mean, you can still get a good grip on it, but keep your thumb up top for better okay. stabilization, and you can press on anything up here. Do you know suppressors get hot when you shoot rounds through them? Do they? Don't don't touch it, touch it. Oh, it is you hot. feel that? Jeez, yeah. So you got to be careful, like if we're shooting these and we put them in the bed of the truck, it'll melt the, <laughs> the plastic. Hot, hot the... stove right there. You can do bacon around it. I've seen it. bacon be cooked on these before. That's how we do around these parts, bruh. Hey, bruh, I only shoot my sideways, bruh. Sideways is the right way, bruh. Here you go, right. my boy. Ready to go? It's hot. All right, so thumb on top. Yes. Yep. There you go. Just a normal day at the range with a salvo can. <laughs> Yo, this thing's wild, dude. Whoa. You're Cody's son? Uh, yes, sir, I am. Are you really into Uh, yeah. I mean, I know how to shoot him, so. Mag in, make sure it's in all the way. Yeah, there you go. And then pull this back all the way as much as you can and let go, and it's ready. Can I shoot this sideways? As long as it's not over the berm, you can do what you want. Jesus, that's cool. You need help with anything else? Yeah, sure, I guess I'll pick something else. You like it? Tag. That's super cool, yeah. So you flap this down, right, pull that back. They do uh, drum mags on these guys? Yeah, these actually have, I think it's 72 round drum mags, especially with reloads that, uh, you know, nice and quick. You said this one is authentic. Yes, that, there's a, let me see, actually this one's marked, yeah, 1945 right there. The wood and everything on there. Yeah, we grabbed the parts kit, which is just basically the uh, the gun, but cut up so it was legal for import, and we rebuild it here in the States. You don't sell these? No, no. We couldn't if we wanted to. The only people we could sell the machine to is law enforcement and military. So, I, like, I police departments, military, you know, stuff like cops that. Cops definitely want this, right? Yeah, this isn't exactly a, a great modern room clearing, no. but if they wanted it, we could build it for them, because everything we do would need to be going through, like, a 4473 background check, everything okay. like that. But for what we do manufacture to sell to people, uh, we just send it to their FFLs. Today we are shooting a they're coming over the border. Do you know anything about the history of this Yeah, yeah, it was designed by uh, the German army. All the trigger does is get out of the way of the bolt, let the okay. system do its thing. Because of machine, how heavy the itself is, and it's just shooting nine millimeter, there's like zero recoil. So a true transferable MP40 is gonna cost you like 70, 80K. The allies are coming over the border. I don't condone. And now you're ready to fire, so. You know it's, it's open? It's an open bolt machine. Pull the trigger, it's out of the way, bolt flies forward, put it on target, and remember, it's a machine. Enjoy it. <laughs> that was like really nice. It was like a fucking nerf. Exactly, yeah. It's because of how heavy it is, how big the spring is and stuff. It's like nothing. So you always be safe. You pull your mag, check chamber, you're good to go. How do you feel right now? Super excited. <laughs> I miss the trenches. All right, never, never the mind. The allies are coming right, up to the beach. Cut, cut. This is the TP9, or MP9 is the full auto version. It's a BNT bought it. They acquired it from Star. You guys play Counter Strike? Yeah. Really Remember the TMP? It's the That's TMP. It. Baby scar though. Shoot that. Can I shoot it? Yeah, dog. I would love to shoot a scar. <laughs> Blue, green, or gold scar. That, that's a purple scar. We'll take a trip to Twin Towers. What is it called in the game? Tilted. Oh, Tilted Towers. Sorry, my bad. So a regular scar is 16 inches. That's an 8.5 inch barrel. I walk in this side so you get all that pretty. You're going to rack it right there. And that gun is zero to a motherfucker. So you're good. You just aim at that. It will hit. I'm just a boat. That one's fun, right? So cool. This is what the, I, a lot of the green, special forces, a lot of the guys, this is what they would run Shout overseas. Shout out for Bragg. Yeah, so I'm about to shoot this 50 cal for the first time in my life. Tell me about this one. Yeah, this is like a, a shoulder mounted Barrett of sorts. They've only ever made 10 of these, only like five in the US, and pretty much no civilians have one other than Brandon. I think this was in one of the Jurassic Park movies. Yeah, shooting down a helicopter, I think. Gotta pull hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, so when you shoot this 50 cal, it like explodes like air or pressure like up your nose. I haven't shot it yet. It's like a cannon. It was crazy. Do you feel like you were gonna like fall over? Yeah, it's like if you pull through, it's like boom. Soy boy.
These bullets are almost as big as my car. Not quite there, but you know, probably if you put them side by side, you know, comparable-ish. Actually, no, this is way smaller. Pull it back as hard as you can. Let it go. Now you're ready to go. Ah! Holy sh! I'm gonna die. Oh! What the? F Get this thing off me. That's fucking horrifying. I'm never touching anything that big in my fucking life the again. The first thing I said after I shot it was like, is my nose bleeding? Tom said, get this fucking thing away from me. How do you feel about modern women? I hate them. All right, unpaid camera guy about to shoot a <laughs> Most expensive thing he's ever done. So, as is, you're doing good. Finger off the trigger, very nice. Other way around, flip it around, like that, yeah. Slide it all the way in. We'll do one shot at first, Let's get try. used to it, then we'll yeah, go to full. At the turkey team, I just edit. This isn't going in, I'm not even gonna put this in. This is going in. No way. Cue to me editing it and it's in. Nice. There you go, look at you. A dead eye. If that was a guy, he'd be so d right now. Oh my yep. god. Uh, god yeah, it was good. Yeah, that's that's good. Good. I mean, it reminds me of paintball, a little bit. All right, uh, closing up our little range day here in San Antonio it was a really fun time. Everybody here was super nice. Shot a lot of cool g a lot of fun. Definitely, uh, I think we'll paint a different picture than some Australian YouTubers would like to paint of crazy g nuts who would like to, you know, promote mass tragedies or whatever. These guys are not about that. They're very safe, responsible, and it was super cool to shoot g them. So I'm just a little bit of those diaper trends. <laughs> One message for the viewers at home who maybe don't know a lot about you or are new to uh, senior g stuff. What do you guys want to say to them? Yeah, hopefully this is kind of like a, a cool introduction to, you know, hey, there's there's a lot of pieces of history and there's a lot of cool, you know, just stuff that you can actually safely use in a nice safe controlled environment as long as you follow the the basic rules of safety and you're around people that you you trust nobody gets shot you know everybody no. has a good time and everybody does it safe and with the same amount of holes as you said that's always the goal tonight, Tom. no that's the reaming holes like we talked about earlier that's different i'm just glad everyone had a safe day that's it dude like there's automatic weapons sitting on the table right now they didn't jump off there and any of the people here support the 2a support brandon herrera for congress <laughs> district 23 in we'll texas see, we'll see when this goes up and uh, whether or not that aged well stay steezy stay icy can we get an ice gang real quick ice gang ice gang ice gang what's that mean i don't know don't worry about it i'm brandon herrera and i approve this message